it does have a nice cut crease and I do show you guys how to do that in the video so if you guys haven't subscribed go ahead and do so and like the video if you do like it other than that if you guys um, are interested in learning how to make or do this look then just keep watching so hi guys I am actually starting um, with a clean face so I just go ahead and all dramatically spray the Mario Badesque rose spray all over my skin and let that let my skin absorb that moisture and then I go right ahead and lock that moisture with my Mario Badesque um, oil-free moisturizer and I just pat that all over my face and all over my hair apparently so I just let my skin absorb all of that moisture. And then I actually don't do my eyebrows on camera, so they just magically appear on my face, as you guys can see. Um, and I go ahead and I start priming my lids with my NYX primer. I will have all of the products that I use in the description down below. So don't worry. And then I go in with one of my Morphe palettes. It's brand new. I literally opened it this day. It's so, so beautiful. And I go ahead with that shade right there in the corner. And I put that all over my lid. I pat it all over my lid. This just helps create an even surface for other eyeshadows to go in on smoothly and so that it's easier for us to be able to blend um, the other set of eyeshadows that I'm gonna go in and use. And I'm gonna take this color and I'm actually gonna put this um, on the outer corner of my eye right there. And you can't really see a difference and this is because I don't actually take a lot of eyeshadow all at once. I like to build up my eyeshadow. This way it's easier for me to control the look and how much I need to blend in order to get the desired effect that I want. So yeah, I'm just putting it on the outer corner and not in my inner corner and then trying to connect the two and just blend. I've said it in my previous video that I love, love, love a well blended look. So now I'm just going to take that color that I had uh, pointed out before and put that on my crease and just blend away. So what this does guys is that it gives a more depth effect on my crease and kind of defines my eyes a little bit better. And just like you guys can see, I you literally just, the secret is to blend, blend, blend. So I'm actually also kind of creating the shape that I want my eyeshadow to take. And this, for me at least, it helps elongate my eyes. So I zoomed in a little bit better so you guys could see the look a little bit better and I just fixed my eyebrows. Now this is my favorite part and kind of what I wanted to show you guys on this tutorial and it's how to cut your crease. So before when I first started doing uh, makeup, I would sit there and try to do this like with eyeshadows and make sure the eyeshadow um, was how I wanted it. But this is actually an easier way to get that desired uh, effect of a cut crease. So what I'm using right here is actually concealer. And then I'm just going in and creating that very sharp line among my crease. Along my crease, I'm sorry. And kind of defining it and taking my time with it. So I'm actually using an Urban Decay uh, brush and just taking um, this concealer and patting it down. And as you guys can tell, the edges along the crease are not perfect and we need them to be as perfect as we can. So I'm actually gonna oop, drop my uh, brush and then take a Real Techniques smaller brush and using that and controlling the brush for a better, um, for a better shape. And then I just go back in with my Urban Decay and fix it up a little bit. So it just takes patience and practice, but eventually you guys will get there just like I did. And then on top of that concealer, I'm actually using, um, it's kind of like a very champagne-y color on my lids from the same palette. I'll definitely 
um, just leave a little comment on what eyeshadow it is and then taking a darker color the same color that I had used on my crease and then with a smaller tapered blending brush blending that outer corner of my eye so this way it creates that like seamless transition from the color that's on our lid to the blend that's on our crease so now I'm taking my favorite mascara the benefit better than sex mascara I'm only putting one coat for right now um, but I actually do end up going back and putting a second coat I love this mascara guys like I don't think that I could ever go without this is definitely a holy grail mascara for me I think I've gone through so many uh, little tubes of that mascara now I'm just taking that same color that I used the first color that I used on my lid and putting it on my brow bone just to give it a little bit of a highlight and just going back and fixing and blending um, like I said I love a well blended look so now I'm taking this Lorac pencil and it's nude so it's going down in my waterline I love doing this on my waterline because it creates that illusion of like woken eyes like beautiful bright eyes now I'm taking my NYX foundation um, and just blending that all over my face I actually used a little bit of this I didn't use a lot so if you guys want a more full coverage foundation then you guys go ahead and just build it up but for this um, particular look I didn't really need it I was going to work so I didn't really want a full face but yeah just blend it out I'm using a real techniques uh, brush it is so old that I really should get a new one And now I'm using one of my MAC Pro Longwear concealers and I'm just going to put that all over my eyes. And then go ahead and blend it away. Like I said before guys, the key to makeup is blending for sure and actually I love concealer and I love doing this after I do my eye makeup because then you're able to clean up the fallout of the eyeshadow so that's a little trick and then I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, contour palette and using that same banana powder that I love and putting it all over my eyes and setting that concealer so that it doesn't crease and it gives it that flawless finish And then all over my face, um, I'm just using one of my uh, MAC powders just to set the foundation and make sure that it is locked in place and it is not going anywhere. Now, I do this after I do concealer. Um, it just makes sense to me. And I put some of the eyeshadows that I put on my crease and I put them under my eyes and use a pencil brush um, to accentuate my eyes. And this helps... Uh, just define them and then I'm using my MAC Cosmetics um, bronzer and just bronzing up my face and then this Milani uh, pink luminous blush I love this I think it's a dupe for uh, NARS orgasm then I take my Anastasia by Really Hills highlighter in So Hollywood and glow up my face I freaking love this highlighter I'm so sad it broke on me but it just gives me a reason to go out and get the Amrezi highlighter because yo like it is so beautiful I pop that underneath my eyebrows to highlight my eyebrows and the inner corner of my eyes and then I also take it with my fingers and I put it on the bridge of my nose. Um, sorry guys, I don't mean to slick you off. I did not realize that, but whatever. I put that on the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose and then on my uh, upper lip on my cupid's bow. And this just gives you that like glow, that goddess glow that everybody loves and everybody wants. And then I go ahead with um, a Bare Minerals lip stain and put that all over my lips. And then right in the middle I go in with a Kylie Cosmetics lip stain and put that in the middle and this just kind of like brightens up this shit smells so good 
I just go back with a brush and blend my face away and then I spray Mario Badesque Rose Spray all over my face and that's pretty much it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.